So good morning, welcome along. Today we're going to be just riding this. This is the Lexmoto Venom. Um, we're just going to have a quick look around the bike. Bike is running so I can show off that daytime running light to the front. Nice bright daytime running light. You've got them LED indicators tucked in nice and close to that front headlight. Now with the Venom, this one comes with the crash bars and bungs around the engine. So should you lose the bike and drop it, you've got some engine protection and frame protection there. Nice high exhaust on this one. Very, very easy just to get in and check all your brake levels, your oil levels, and to get to that spark plug as well. Nice deep seat and a high pavilion passenger seat on this one, and nice high, high tail light on this one as well. Got that nice extended tail tidy on that one. Let's have a quick look round this side of the bike. Them nice silver panels to the side, and then foot pegs mid-centre and very, very deep on the bike. Very easy just to get in, just to unlock the seat. There is minimal storage under this one at the back, but the seat unlocks from the back left-hand side on this one. Going to get this one out and on the road. Bright and early this morning, 7.30 start. And with the clocks going back an hour, means it's a little bit lighter in the mornings. Now the mirrors on this, they have changed the mirror design. Nice little pointed mirror on this. I preferred a longer mirror on these ones, but I've got about a quarter of my shoulder, but obviously if you do move your head around, you can see in those mirrors, but I preferred a slightly deeper pointy mirror on this one. Very easy just to check your brake fluid levels as well on this nice see-through container to the front. On the front on this one, speedo is to the left. You've got a rev counter, your miles, and your fuel tank and time, and you've also got a gear indicator on this one. On the left-hand controls, standard controls, horn indicators, main beam, dip beam with the pass light to the rear, and on the right-hand controls, very easy, start button and the kill switch. So we're going to get this one out into traffic. This one's got a nice deep growl to it. Very, very talky little bike, this one. So we're just going to move it out into traffic. And just pull away. Third. Fourth. Up into fifth gear. And we just wind the beans on. And bring it up to that 40 mile an hour for the test ride. Now I tend to vary my test rides between 40 to 45. Just vary the revs around a bit rather than just hold the throttle and keep it at a steady speed. Gets up to 40 mile an hour very, very quickly. And obviously these Venoms do sell and they are in very high demand at the moment. Now obviously demand has outstripped supply on most of the Lexmodo bikes. But we have got some more of these coming in. Now obviously January is the new Euro 5 regulation, so we don't know what bikes are still going to be available yet for the Euro 5 regulations. But we shall sit and wait and see what happens with Euro 5. More Brussels bureaucracy, as they say, with these Euro 5 regulations. It's working our way back through the box on this one. Obviously cold, damp morning. Tyres doing a very, very good job of gripping the road. And just up to me to get that test mileage on of 20 miles on every bike that we do, or roughly around about 20 miles, depending on my ride circuit. Now we have two of these going out this week. We've got the black one going out and we've also got the grey one. Now for the purposes of ride testing, I'm not going to do a ride test on every single bike. We've got about six Titans coming through, so what you should probably do is clump all the Titan videos together like we did on the last one where I rode in the rain. And with a couple of these Venoms, I'll just do some quick on-the-road mileage with that grey Venom for the customer's purposes. But this one is a quick walk round on this one this morning, just to show you the bike in case you've forgotten what a Venom looks like. Now on the tank on this one, it has got the radio got Bluetooth on it so you can hook your mobile phone into that unit on the tank and the speakers on this are excessively loud as well so another little gimmick that Lexmotor brought out having some music playing while you're riding 
and if you haven't seen that video go back and have a look at my previous Venom video where I did uh, obviously have a little bit of music playing I think we had a Dell going on it now this has got a USB point under the seat so you can load all your music onto a USB plug it in under the rear seat and have some music that way this also has a radio function on it so you can tune into your favourite radio station which is quite handy if you happen to have uh, Radio 2 or your local radio station on where they do the traffic alerts all the time on the quarter of an hour every hour during rush hour so it's quite good obviously if you want traffic updates or you want to listen to the news or have a little bit of music going and even with the visor down you can hear everything that's going on personally I prefer the sound of an engine so I tend not to have any music playing on my centre headset or on a bike and that is individual ride preference and uh, a lot of the big sports bikers tend to ride with earplugs in anyway so it defeats the object and obviously with wind noise and road noise it can affect your hearing over an amount of time or even loud cans over a certain amount of time so I would always say if you've got a loud bike put some ear protection in wind noise tends to be the killer on the eardrums but we're just working our way down the dual carriageway once we come off of the roundabout we're going to do our normal thing that we do which is our brake test so front brake and then we're going on use the combined braking coming in just to check that the brakes are effective I just had a full light check this morning all the indicators all the stop lights speedo and everything absolutely perfect now we never normally get an issue with these venoms they are absolutely beautiful little machines the riding position on this is very very nice quite a high handlebar on this one so it's got your arms up and level peg position is very very good tucking my knees into the bottom of that tank and with these mirrors you can see in them but you just have to move your head around a little bit I prefer to shoulder check everything I do before I move as I always say if you are riding a bike mirrors are good but never trust them always make sure that you are doing your shoulder checks when riding now hopefully we'll get a red light in a second I can use some of this brake force it's obviously wet roads like today what we always say is use your combined braking to pull yourself down unless you're in a straight line but dry weather on the front brake and wet weather on the back so we're going to come in on the front brake clutch in and pull in hard and in third gear it's very very easy just to shift down through that box so gearbox very crisp and responsive and then what we'll do as we come round to the next set of lights we're going to pull in on the back brake on this one quick shoulder check to bring it into the next lane unfortunately we've got a green light so can't use the rear brake at the moment handling through the corners especially on a wet icy road like today thank you very much mr car driver and i was aware of him in the mirrors and obviously off my last shoulder check which is one thing on these little 125s and dual carriageways make sure that you do check your mirrors and shoulder check before moving positions so back out on the dual carriageway we're going to crack some more miles up on this first and we'll come back to you guys in just a few once I've got some more miles on the bike so see you in a while just come back onto the urban route off the dual carriageway and currently 15 miles on the bike no issues whatsoever I didn't expect them to be and just bringing ourselves back down into traffic last little bit of the urban route to do around town and then we're going to head back to the garage 
uh, just so happens. Red light for the traffic, so clutching in fifth gear. I'm going to pull it down on the rear brake. And that combined braking working very, very well. So all in all, another good test ride. Lexmodo Venom. And what a gorgeous little bike this is to ride. Very upright seating position. So it's very, very easy on the wrists, the back, the knees, the arms. Than it would be if you were on a bike, a sports bike style, lent over. So obviously this one better for long distance running. If you are thinking of doing something like 20 miles a day, always get yourself an upright bike. Sports bikes are good, but after a while you do end up with those aching wrists, sore knees, bad back. And as a sports bike rider, I know that. So, fun little bit of mileage to do on this one. Once again, just working through the box. And heading back to the garage. So if you are looking for one of these, as always, check out the Lexmoto page, lexmoto.co.uk. Up the top, find a dealer, put your postcode in, that will give you the six nearest Lexmoto dealers in the area. We can deliver, if you happen to be at a distance from Milden Keynes. But the Venoms and the Vipers are very, very hard to get hold of. There is more stock available coming soon on the next shipment of bikes. But as we always say, if you are looking to get yourself a bike, best thing to do is to get yourself a pre-ordering. Get yourself a deposit on one of these because when they do come in, you'll find that most of them have been reserved already. Demand is outstripping the supply of all motorcycles and that's not just on the Lex Motos, that's on all the brands of bikes. Even uh, a lot of second-hand bikes are selling for absolutely stupid money at the moment because everybody wants to sell short distance. So we're gonna make our way back. Extremely cold this morning. Oh, for some heated grips. As always, all the social media, Eclipse Motorcycles on the Facebook. Easiest way to find everything is off my website, which is revbomb.co.uk. Pop on there, Eclipse Motorcycles on the first page. All the links, telephone numbers all down the bottom. All my social media on the last page, and that's the Instagram, Twitter, the YouTube, and the Facebook. And until the next time, guys, on a cold morning, very early. Be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.